Now I'm going to explain to you how to create a report in your um, Access database. Let's look in the instruction. Use the query saved as question 1b to create a report by selecting all the fields and using default settings. We go back to Access, remember create, report wizard. That is what we'll be using, form wizard, query wizard. So for this exercise, we are doing the report wizard. This looks very familiar. It looks like the form and the query. Once again, make sure what does your instruction say? Must you use the query or the table? In this instruction, it says use the query and use all the available fields. Either double click to take them over or double or click on the double arrow to take all the fields over. Click on next. Default setting, we don't change anything here. We don't want to add any grouping levels. So click on next. What sort order do you want for your records? If you were instructed to sort one of your fields in ascending or descending order, this is where you would select it. There was no instruction like that. Uh, you can choose your field and maybe make it ascending or descending, but there was no instruction. So you just click on next. This is the default setting, a tabular and a portrait. You click on next. Your title. Once again, you have to type in the title. Let's see what must the title be. Change the report title to Cabbage Garden Academy report and examination number. So I type in there Cabbage Garden Academy report and my examination number and again I click on modify the reports design then I click on finish now I am in the re design view of my report report header page header detail page footer and report footer the blue area is my header let's read the instruction change the report title to cap uh, We've done that. Format the font of the report title to Bondoni empty black and put it in the center. So click on my report title. I go home. I change it to Bondoni empty black. As you can see, it does not fit. So I'll have to make my block a bit bigger so that my report title fits. And I have to put it in the center. Insert the image named basket from the student files folder as a logo in the center below the report title. Your blue area is your header area. That's where you'll have to insert your picture. You will have to make it bigger. Otherwise, your picture won't fit. So how do I make my report header bigger? I put my mouse just above page header. Up and down arrow, I click, I hold it in, and I drag it down so that my blue page header or report header becomes bigger. Then I go to Design, Insert Image. Go to Browse. I go to Desktop because that's most probably where your file will be. Student File, and there's the picture basket. As soon as I click on it, my mouse now has the picture. Wherever I click, my picture will be inserted. They tell me the picture must be in the center below the report title. That looks about in the center. I can make the picture a little bit bigger. Not too big. You cannot have your pictures too big. Otherwise, your report won't fit on one page. Now I've still got space left here, the blue area. I have to make it smaller. So I put my mouse on the line again and I drag it up so that the blue area ends just under the picture there. I cannot have my picture too big. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. Insert the image we've done. Use the print preview function to ensure that all fields appear. So now we are done. We have designed our report. We click on the cross. We say, yes, I want to save it. 
on the left hand side there's my report cabbage garden academy with my form with my query with my table so i double click on my report there's my report my um, title and my picture I go to file i'll go to print put in preview and i make sure that it fits on one page print and i will print it normally close print preview you can go back to any of your documents at any time your query your table your form at any time you can go back to those documents to open them and make changes to them they will all be saved on the left hand side of your screen